you know, two things we want out of life are certainty and satisfaction. From when we're young, we believe that there's something that will make us whole and make us complete. And we take on stories that help us feel that we have the right answer, we have the truth. And I'm arguing that actually Christianity invites us into a place where we experience dissatisfaction, where we embrace our brokenness, and where we realize that we don't know the secret, that we're in the dark, and that the world is full of mystery. The good news of Christianity, you can't be satisfied. Life is rubbish, we don't know the secret. Now that doesn't sound like good news, but the trick is this. If we are able to accept it, and embrace it, and joyously affirm the brokenness of our lives, we're not oppressed by it anymore, we are actually freed from it, so that we can learn to live within it, and rob it of its sting, but not not trying to think that there's something that will, will take away all the pain and the suffering and the brokenness. When I do that, I reduce God to an idol, a product, a dead thing that will, will somehow uh, fix everything and make everything right. God is not found in the, the running away from brokenness. God is found in the midst of brokenness. God is found in the embrace of the world. You no longer need to be whole and complete. You no longer need to have the answers but rather you can embrace mystery and unknowing and that you can celebrate fractured and broken lives. You can realize that being human in all of its complexity and all of its fragility is beautiful and we can find God in the midst of that.